I'm just absorbing um, what they're putting out. If any information that I could just grab onto, any any things that I could see, any body language that I might be able to pick up. And I just want that. And I just want to keep, you know, getting information on this individual, this creature that I'm going to have to tame shortly after, you know. So you, you'll have numerous face-offs leading off to the event. And, you know, each one I'll, I'll have like a little different picture of the individual that I'm going to fight, you know. It doesn't mean that it's always right or wrong. It's just like what, what, what I go through. I'm just trying to do the things, you know. I, I know there's guys that like... Uh, for the face sounds, they, they'll, they'll like openly say it or like they'll tell me we can knock a room talk. Like they like to intimidate guys. Me, no, I, I want to see what, what this individual, how he acts, what he's doing. You know, maybe he's already intimidated by me. I don't even have to intimidate him. You know, I want to see. I want to see all these things. So that's really what crosses my mind is just reading my opponent. You know, it, it depends because the, the, the mind, you don't know just how many thoughts you have you know, in just seconds, you know, so it's, it's crazy. But a lot of thoughts are going on. But the, the, the strongest voice probably of all the voices that are screaming and thoughts is just compete, go out there and have fun. You know, at that moment, is it, you gotta be so focused and, and all that as, as you can. But it's also the time to not think anymore and just do. Because you've been preparing for this moment, in my case, your whole life, it should just happen, right? You know, because you don't, when you're fighting, you almost don't have time to think. I don't have time to tell my arm throw left foot because it might be too late. They got me out of position. So I just try to keep my mind clear and just compete and rely on, on my training that has led me to this moment. Like, I, I don't want to think necessarily about the results that, that could happen or not happen. I just want to have like a utter confidence and sheer faith that everything I did in training to get me to this moment is what it took for this moment to happen. And I'm just going to give it my all now. That's all I got to do is give it all of me. Been some good ones. I'm gonna say maybe he wasn't the most known, but he was one of my favorite was Quentin Rampage Jackson. I always thought Quentin was hilarious, especially when he was in Pride doing stints. He used to crack me up, and I uh, I like um, individuals that uh, that don't make it like personal. I want to hear trash talk, and I want to talk all the people about me, but I, I don't hear somebody talking about somebody else's wife or kids or stuff like that. So there's a lot of trash talkers you're doing nowadays and you might be famous and stuff, but I, I don't like to um, to like hype that because that's not what the sport needs. There's two men already, we're gonna get in the kids beat the shit out of each other. I always felt like Quinn kept it funny, kept it fucking, you know, entertaining, but yet like very much in your face and like, hey, I'm trying to fuck you up. That's all I want to do is fuck you up and he would let people know, you know? So I was always a big fan of Quentin Rampage and me for the MMA. Um, Tails Hunter wasn't bad either. He, he had his sense, you know, but sometimes he'd cross the line, start talking about people's wives and I'm gonna slap her in the butt and this and that. Like, this. you know, in some parts of the world, you might get shot in your face for that shit. So I can't really say that, you know, you could be doing that type of shit. You know, there's a lot more people don't like that. And, and I know why, you know? And then there's the people that talk shit wanna press charges after they talk shit. I hate those motherfuckers right now. Kidding me? You gotta pick, man. I eat a lot. Usually, it's the, my auto immune disease is out. I get depressed, I eat a lot, bro. It's the first thing, it's weak, it's weakness, it's disgusting. I just eat my way out of problems, I don't know why. It was like this trauma from being a kid, not having like always food when I wanted it, or like a lot of nights, you just wanted like a fucking hot meal. So nowadays, it's what gives me the most comfort. I And, and I got money, right? So I'm buying like the best food I could get. And now they got this shit called Uber Eat. So I can order that shit at like three in the morning, have a fucking Thanksgiving day feast in my living room. So yeah, I eat my way out of problems. Game bread is a, is a, is a term used for fighting dog, fighting dogs. I don't condone dog fighting. I, I say that because it, it's just, it takes your heart away to see these like creatures going to the death and literally they'll fight with like eyeball missing. I was exposed to this when I was young and I got to see it and I was immediately like intrigued by it. And, I would read books on how the dogs got to America and everything. So I, I, I knew exactly where the terminology game bread came from. Game is the ability to fight through pain and fatigue. And bread, it's like saying you got one Cuban mixed with another Cuban, you bread a Cuban. So um, that, that's what game bread means. And how I got the nickname, my, I had a, a great friend um, and he knew that I knew that terminology and what that meant. So he just, after getting in the scrap one day, he's like, man, I got your nickname, bro. And I was like, what is it? He's like, it's game bread. And I was like, this whole time, it's been right there in front of my face. I didn't think about that. And it just showed for, for my style that I was, because I wasn't, I was, um, I wasn't the strongest or the fastest or the most skilled. 
but I could always match somebody's will. I would just come to give it everything I had every time that I competed. So it was like the perfect nickname for me. Yeah, I don't, I, you know, with, with me in, in particular, I see very much fighting as like a, a somewhat part religious, you know, with yourself, you know, you have to have a lot of things in check. You have to have a lot of those demons in check and have utter faith believe in yourself and in God. Um, but I also see it like it's not a, not a big deal. Like it's a pa basketball game. You know, this, this is what I do and I'm good at it. And other fighters do it in the world and they're good at it and they want to challenge me to see who's better, you know? So I, I don't have a problem in fighting somebody. I Would I want to? No. Like a lot of my teammates that I have an American top team, I couldn't think to even face them. But now you're telling me you're going to give us a paycheck that's going to help their family out significantly and mine? I mean, we've been beating the crap out of each other for years. Why not get paid for it? <laughs>